What is the day? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's Sunday. Thank you. Um, welcome to Sunday. We're doing our Sunday lunch at the house today because we're waiting on the repairman. Dot, dot, dot. And we're not sure when he's gonna, <clears throat> gonna come do the repair stuff. So we're Are like, <laughs> we're not going there yet, Mallory. We're not going there yet. We don't know when he's coming. We know he's coming today. But we don't know when he's coming. So because of that, we um, just had Dan Lindsay come over here. And they they brought food and then we had leftovers. So it's like... Like so many leftovers. We have a lot of leftovers. There are so many leftovers. Yeah, because you... Well, you, what did you eat? I don't remember. What I you had ate. a sandwich. Oh, you just had a sandwich. I had just white chicken chili because we have a ton of that. And then we also have the soup that my mom made. Mm -hmm. We finished all the meatballs. No, I froze half of them. Oh my god. So yeah, we do. Lindsay's completely correct. We probably have... God, we probably have like 10 meals. Yeah. You don't need groceries. It's true. It's true. I'm happy about that. Anyway, so uh, we're just going to kind of hang out for a little bit today and uh, play games or something. And then at some point, I'm under the assumption that the repair guy is kind of like... Re well, he, he reached out to us this morning and said the paint was still wet. Yeah. So that's where we're at. But that was like hours ago. So we're, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, and Dan's feeling better. Hi. Because Dan, Dan was sick. And Dan is no longer sick. I get like a little cough every now and then, but nothing as bad as it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you're fine otherwise. Yeah, it's... yeah. I mean, today actually is the first day where I like woke up and I was like, oh. I'm feel like I'm good now. Good. Good. So. good. Feeling good is um you know, it's important. I think it's um uh, I think a, a philosopher once said that. I think it was Sonic the Hedgehog. We just finished playing a game called Forbidden Island. I've never played this before. I'm also told that there's a desert variant. Mm -hmm. But um where you like put together a ship. It's it's real neat. It's real neat. Um it's a cooperative game where you're trying to collect treasure from an island and then escape. And it feels very similar in style to like games like Pandemic or Flashpoint. But I actually think this one in some ways does the forebodingness better, at least better than Flashpoint. Because in Flashpoint, the measurement of like whether or not you're going to lose is how many little black cubes you have left. And in this one, the actual game board is disappearing because there's a bunch of little tiles and when you start you've got 24 places to move and as you can see we left with like five yeah. yeah and like you have to have a path to get to the exit and it's really good the game's really good i think i prefer this to flashpoint really i think so yeah nice I mean, it's a different game, and I don't know if I prefer it to Pandemic, but I also haven't played Pandemic a whole lot. But the the, the format of this is really good, and it's also uh, faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it 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 moves pretty quickly, whereas Flashpoint, it probably takes twice as long. You got dice rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Neat. This is good. Shout out to my cousins, Jill and Sean. Thank you for introducing me to this game. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you watch, so you'll see this. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. So you may already know where this is going. <laughs> it had been a bit. It had been a bit. And, uh, you know, we've had fun today. We uh, hung out with Dan and Lindsay and played some games and stuff while we were waiting. And at some point, I was like, it's been... It's been a while, Mal. You should, you should message him and, and see if it's dry yet, you know? So Mal said, you know, any update on, on that? And uh, he said, uh, yep, shelf is good to go. We should be good for tomorrow. And I was like, cool. So my question really is, you know, this morning, when we messaged, or when he messaged us at like 10 a.m. or whatever, and basically said, it's still tacky, was that 
implying that it wouldn't be today because it was tacky, because that was certainly uh, not well illustrated to us just with that message. I mean, if it would have been like, it's tacky, we'll aim for tomorrow, that would have been helpful information, but it's tacky, just let us believe that we were waiting on it to dry and it would be later today. And it's not. So it's not like today was a waste. We had fun today hanging out with Dan and Lindsay, who have since, you know, went home. Um, but it's, it's frustrating, again, because, as a reminder of this timeline, we reached out in the early part of February. Uh, didn't get response for a while, so that was a little aggravating. But finally, uh, we were supposed to be good to go for Friday, then we had to wait till Saturday, and then... Saturday, couldn't get everything done, so we waited until Sunday, and then Sunday morning, you know, we thought we were good, and not happening today. But, not going to let it upset me. Uh, there's things to do, and our time is valuable, and we need to use our time today. Uh, Dan and Lindsay have headed back home tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, words mean nothing anymore. Um, we'll see if maybe the shelf gets done. That would be nice. Um, if not, we'll just roll with it. But in the meantime, today, we've got to record some Smash Brothers because uh, we ran out of Smash Brothers last week, and we need to record some stuff that's going to come out on Tuesday. And obviously, we need to do it today, so Dan has time to work on it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work on we're going to work on Smash Brothers. Again, the last three days have not really went exactly how I would have liked them to, but it's, it's fine. Ready to do Smash? Yeah. I'm trying to think of who's next. We last did Ness, so it's like Captain Falcon and Jigglypuff. Yeah. And then whoever was first introduced in Melee, so I don't know. I don't know. You just gonna stay up here, buddy? You not ready to come down? Okay. Whenever you're ready, we'll be downstairs. So we recorded um we recorded the smash that we needed to. Um there's obviously we can keep going, but we just got this week done. When we have more time, we'll get back to it. But this week's is, is set, three episodes. Tonight's actually super exciting. Partially because of the smells. That smell is amazing. Mal put something on um, on this chicken. Herbs de Provence. It's a French seasoning. Herbs de Provence? Pro it looks like Providence. Provence. The Herbs of Providence. It's a southern French collection. But um, it's, a, it's a unique smell. It's very, it's very good. Lavender thyme, savory. Uh, majorum thyme, majorum, oregano. I don't know oregano. There's a bunch of stuff in there, but it's it just this stuff smells amazing, man. I it's great. Um, also, going in now are uh, mushrooms and uh, artichokes, and I finished cutting up the uh, Brussels sprouts because we're gonna do that as a side. Um, I'm generally the one that does the Brussels sprouts. So I've gotten to the point I've done pretty good at them. Um, sometimes we do them in the microwave. And then sometimes we actually get the... Whole ones fresh. Yeah, the fresh ones. It's cheaper, generally, I've found, to get the fresh ones. It's just, obviously, it's a little more work to, to make them. But if you're going to be making a dish where you got to do all this stuff anyway, might as well just get these. And um, it actually feels kind of fitting that we're having a, a bit of a fancier meal tonight, and that's because today's actually our dating anniversary. Twelve years. That is a long, stinking time, Mal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is a long time. We've, it's been a fun twelve years. Um, we've had a, a lot of smiles and laughs and tears, and um, I wouldn't change anything for the world. I mean that. I, I absolutely I know mean you that. Do, I, I, yeah. I feel the same. Well. So I'm glad that, you know, we're not going out and doing anything tonight. 
But um, we're having a yeah, pretty nice meal. And this was just one of the meals that was planned. We actually were maybe going to do this last night. So it just kind of happened that it's falling on the uh, our actual anniversary. And I'm fine with that. So uh, we're eating in tonight. So we'll enjoy our, our food in the comfort of our own home and watch some YouTube or something. Now I think... Uh... I think everything turned out quite nice. It looks really good. The uh, the Brussels sprouts, I don't know. They are always they always taste good, but they never look pretty. <laughs> Brussels sprouts are good. I steamed them a little long. Yeah. And I knew I I knew I did. As soon as I uncovered it, I was like, yeah, steamed them a little long. That's alright. I'm still kind of figuring them out. I'm not, not as good with Brussels sprouts as I am with eggs yet. And then this little concoction of, um, you know, chicken and mushrooms, which is already a good combo. Mmm. Mmm. The... Artichokes. Well, the flavor on all that's really great. Mm hmm And then... Mmm. Artichokes are so good. Man, that goes really well with that too. Yeah, it really, does. really well. Mm -hmm. We gotta eat more artichokes. <laughs> well, we like, have a huge jar. Cool. We gotta find more ways to use them because that's that's really good. Anyway, that's um, that's gonna be it for for today. It's just gonna be kind of a a quiet evening. Um, like I said earlier. The last three days have been not particularly ideal because we've there's been a good bit of waiting around. And I think a lot of it just comes down to some miscommunication. Because I have a feeling that when he sent that message about it being tacky at 10 a.m., what he meant was, I will not be over today. And we understood it as, oh, it'll be done drying soon. Because it was he did it yesterday, so it was drying all through you know the day or whatever, so... It's just one of those big sigh, it's fine type things. So um, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Hopefully it'll get done tomorrow, but I'm, I'm, I'm done stressing about it. I'm just gonna live my life. And uh, if we have to tell him to adjust things because we have things to do, then we're just gonna have to because we can't just keep waiting around all the time. We'll get back to work and it'll be fine. Happy anniversary, by the way. I know it's not like a wedding anniversary, but, you know, it's still like 12 years together, yeah, so. Yeah, 12 years. Happy anniversary. Thanks. And thank you for watching, and, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if tomorrow's vlog features a shelf. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?